manufacturing process and production can be done by different processes in which casting is the oldest and the important process by which we can make any product very easily. So we are going to produce a T-pipe joint project in our foundry shop. So it's time to introduce our group. Myself Divya. Hi, myself Ganga Sagamoria. Myself Vandinara. And myself Sujit Kumar Yadav. Now it's time to start the casting process. This is molding box. Upper part of molding box is called cob and uh, this is lower part of molding box is called drag. And uh, sand fill in the molding box, uh, lower mold, uh, part of molding box like this. And this is pin and rammer and uh, compress of molding sand in drag like this Now the pattern is rammed into the drag portion of the mat uh, molding box for the preparation of mold cavity. This, uh, this can be made by the use of rammer, pin rammer. And now lifter and cleaner is used for obtaining the exact shape of the mold cavity. quality of ramming describes the quality of our mold cavity form how much we ram our uh, pattern into the mold ca uh, into the drag portion the mold cavity made is very good is of very good quality and now the ramming process is completed and we have to locate the cope on the drag for the complete formation of our molding box. Now we have to use parting sand. And parting sand is used to use to differentiate both layers of the cope and drag from each other. Now we have to locate two gate pin in our uh, one which is used as a riser and other which is used as a runner. Riser is put on the pattern and runner is put it on side of the pattern. Now the molding sand is poured into the drag portion. Now the venting process is done on the upper part of our molding. These vent holes are made for the removal of gas when we pour hot metal into the 
mold cavity. And now we have to remove the gate pins. This is the riser pin which is put it upon the pattern. This process can be done very smoothly. And finally, the last pin can be removed. Then the upper part of the molding box is remo removed and now the mold cavity is shown and we have to pour the metal into this mold cavity for the preparation of our product. And this process is done for the removal of the pattern from the drag portion. pattern it has to be removed very safely and now finally we got our mold cavity which is very useful for the production of the T joint and now we have to cut gate into our drag portion As we know that we cannot pour molten metal directly into the mold cavity because our mold cavity got distorted if we pour our molten metal directly into the cavity. So we have to cut gate for the pouring of molten metal. And finally the gate is obtained in our drag portion of the molding box. The complete finishing of the mold cavity is very necessary for obtaining very good quality of product. This is the core box, this is lower part of the core box called uh, drag and this is upper part of the core box called core. We, we firstly fill some sand, partition. some partition sand and we fill some sand for preparation of the, preparation core. Of the core. And after this we have to plane the surface. This is a lower box. Now we fill same like same sand in the upper box.
Now this is final core prepared. As you know that our mold cavity is prepared and we have to pour the molten metal into the mold cavity for the preparation of the product. Now we are melting our uh, aluminium in this crucible furnace and before melting of the uh, metal. This is pit furnace and air is supplied from this blower to the pit furnace by which the molten metal is melted. Now the crucible is Lifter. <laughs> 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 After the pouring of the molten metal into the mold cavity, our final casted product is obtained whose parts are described by Sujit. This part is called pouring cup and this is sprue. This combination is called runner and gate and this part is called riser part. Yeah.